Hey, welcome back, guys. I have Shawnee with me after an hiatus. More so, she just wasn't. We just didn't record anything. <laughs> yeah. So we're back. What's up? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna talk about um the cancellation of the New Gods movie and the Trench movie and a couple other movies that are slated to come out that I wasn't aware of and just wanted to talk about and tell Shawnee about since you know wanted to see what her reaction would be but um this is actually kind of old news uh so basically Warner has decided to um stop development on New Gods in the Trench and they won't be doing it move, moving forward um they thanked Uber du- Ava DuVernay and Tom King who were heading the uh the New Gods movie and James Wan and Peter Safran. I guess they were working on the trans movie, I believe. Yeah, I believe James Wan was working on the trans movie. Uh, go down. They just talk about that. It was, you know, based off of trans was based off of Aquaman, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But really, what I want to get into is the slate of movie that's coming out and before that i guess we'll talk about basically we didn't think Ava duvernay or tom king were good choices to be heading a new gods movie um yeah anything to say about that i know you were talking about it um previously how you didn't think that they would be good picks for they aren't good picks for the movie i'm it doesn't seem like Ava duvernay had any interest in comic book heroes prior to this point so i understood why they picked her because you know you gotta you gotta fill your diversity quotas out there and the new thing is to hire black people and even lesser talented black people to write your movies and your comic books so you know i wasn't too excited about this movie coming out anyway and then the trench i was kind of like yeah like I didn't hear much about it, so no, I just heard it was supposed to be a horror movie. Um, you know, there's weird monsters and stuff down in the trench where Atlantis is. There's a like a pit next I see, to it. Yeah, basically, what the the trench is like all of the creatures who don't look like Atlanteans. Yeah. Atlanteans are supposed to be the like the upper ep- <laughs> upper upper echelon of of a sea life and they whatnot. Like yeah, they look like people. But then when you see in the Aquaman movie, they kind of expand it and you see all the other like kingdoms in Atlantis and um, or neighboring kingdoms of Atlantis. And not all of them look like people. Like I believe in the movie, there was like a mer people looking um, group and they were like, but they look like fish, fish people with mermaid tails. It was very interesting. Uh, <laughs> but it, because the CG was so, meh in the movie that like i was kind of like it's a little sloppy but i wasn't looking forward to like the trench when i did hear about it because i feel like they were going to play on the whole um atlanteans are seen as like white people and the trench are seen as minorities and i feel like i feel like they're going to do it because reading the aquaman comic book um when arthur is uh, they presume arthur arthur is dead but he has basically been wounded and was taken in by, I can't remember the character's name. I think her name is Dolphin. Um, he was taken in by Dolphin, who lives in the trench. And she looks like an Atlantean, but she has a mutation. And um, I think she's got like webbed hands and she doesn't speak. She communicates in like high pitched noises. I believe that's why they call her Dolphin. So, and she has, like, a power. Like, I think she, like, emanates, like, this bright light from her hands. I cannot remember. It's been a minute since I read the comic. But I feel like they did touch on in the comic where there's, like, the whole, like, Atlanteans think they're better than us down here because, you know, they look normal (laughs) in comparison to, like, sea creatures, sea beings. I, I don't know. So I just feel like if they did a trench movie, it would be something like that. They'd they find a way. It was supposed to be like a horror movie, but, eh, you know, they would have found a way. The reason that they gave for um, the cancellation was the fact that Darkseid was in the Snyder Cut, and basically they feel that it 
would complicate it and it would cause issues like nobody would then want like a preview or a prequel of really in reality I mean, they just didn't want to go forward i mean with honestly <laughs> this wasn't with the fact that they snyder cut and like this universe is so disjointed because you've got matt reeves the batman which has nothing to do and like this article does a piss poor job talking about some except for the batman which is set in an alternate earth known to, known to geeks i love how it's known to geeks not just yeah. Like, why would you? It's Hollywood Reporter. I'm, oh, not, my I'm gosh. not really expecting much this is, better. This is so dumb. But so. like, so that was the other thing we had with the issue with the DCEU. I know that we got less DCEU fanboys out there, but the the whole universe is disjointed, and it's disjointed because they were trying to make play catch up with Marvel instead of actually creating a actual universe and putting in the work, the back work, the you know. So they're going to do a Blue Beetle, a Batgirl. Yeah, the Blue Beetle movie's already in development since <laughs> Johnny how did we, head. I'm sorry, um, but how did we yeah. get here? Like, like this, this is, are they embracing the disjointment of this universe? I don't or? know. They're, like, doing a lot of one-offs. Because that's what they kind of said that they were The Green do. Lantern Corp, Static yeah, Shock. Static, but even the Static, because I brought this up. Um, so the Static movie isn't even in the main, it seems like it's not going to be in the main DC universe so uh michael b jordan said one potential big reveal is that michael b jordan provided about the static movie is that it'll launch a new universe in a statement about the news he was producing the movie jordan said i'm proud to be a part of building a new universe centered around black superheroes our community community deserves that this indicates that the movie will not be set in the same universe as other DC movies or the DC extended universe. Instead, static could be a launching pad for milestone characters to get movies. If everything goes well, though, perhaps the multiverse would allow static to cross over with the main DC universe. If they even do a main DC universe, because I have no idea what's going on with the DC. I'm kind of curious as to what heroes they're going to bring into the forefront, because I mean, at this point, so the static movie would be like a, Oh, God. Actually, here's what I'm really disappointed. This is just going to be another look at all these black heroes being blackity black, black, black. And that's really about it. And then they're probably going to take some they're probably going to take some heroes who are not black and then make them black to like kind of bolster their line. They're going to turn stories like about like Mr. Terrific into only being about his race. (laughs) If it's milestone, they're just going to do milestone. And it's supposed to be in the universe. Then there's plenty of stuff to use in the milestone comics. It's just what are you then gonna do with the story? Because we already seen what they did with the revamp of Static in the comics. In the comics recently, so hmm. it's like, the, are they gonna go with the more traditional storyline, or are they gonna try to quote unquote update it? They're gonna, up, you know, we, my, we know we're gonna, they're gonna update know. it. They're not gonna go with the traditional storyline because. They feel as though the traditional storyline markets too much towards white people. So they know the only way to bring people in is to get their woke points, get their get them body shots in there. And I'm like, it's it's not necessary. You don't need to do that. Especially for characters that people who love the character and know the source material are gonna look at your movie like we we didn't want this. <laughs> so you still have the Flash movie, uh the Batman movie. The Flash movie that's supposed to come out in 2022 i don't know if that's gonna get pushed back i don't think it will but we got that that's supposed to be this is supposed to be the um the ezra miller flash yeah but uh shoot what am i i'm forgetting the the event that is it's based off of it's yeah the flashpoint movie i don't know why i I blanked on that but yeah this is the flashpoint movie that what i originally thought they were going to use this to reset the universe once everything fell apart with the uh snyder verse and they still probably will use this to reset the universe in some capacity. And then, so then from going on from there, you still got the Black Adam movie. But the Black Adam movie is supposed to come out before this Flash movie. And then you have the Shazam movie that's supposed to come out the following year. This The second Shazam movie. And then you have Blue Beetle, Batgirl, Supergirl, Green Lantern, Static, a Zatanna movie. Apparently that's in development. You got the third Wonder movie, Wonder Woman movie that they already they said it was greenlit to come out. a third movie after the disaster that 1984 yeah, they, was. They greenlit this before the movie even came out. Oh yikes! So that was already a thing before 
you know, they were and already And then you got Superman. Before. Then you got this Superman from J.J. And then this is supposed to essentially, going forward, be part of J.J. Abrams. J.J.-verse. Yeah, and then, like, so you also have things about, like, Constantine, and they're supposed to be doing a um, Justice League Dark, like, HB, HBO Max show. Um, there's a, quite a few things that's going on here, but it's just, it's it's all over the place right now and it doesn't seem to actually be connecting to anything bigger but i don't know yeah they got the batgirl projects and zatanna project so i think the zatanna project is its own individual movie or hbo max show and then you have the justice league dark stuff and which constantine is supposed to be in with, they keep messing up Constantine, so it's kind of like, why even <laughs> why even try to do this? But. I don't know why they keep trying to do Constantine. To be honest, I don't even know why they're trying to do Zatanna either. I'm I'm a little... Well, that's because of the Justice League Dark thing that J.J. Uh, wants to I, do. I don't even know why he's even trying to ju- touch wants. Justice League Dark. They canceled the, uh, the uh, Swamp Thing show before it even aired. Like, what are we... What are, what's the point? Well, that, that was... <laughs> In true DC fashion, somebody did not do what they were supposed to do, and that's why that. It's a shame. The show was pretty good. We were watching it for a little while, and I think we got like we two. Finish it. We got like two episodes left, I think, to finish. Yeah, they're going to be airing it on the CW. Like, I I think they're going to air it on the CW to see if they can garner some like interest again. Yeah, and then maybe that'll kind of spark the WB and you know Warner Brothers and Fox, not Fox, but Warner Brothers and like. DC and all that to kind of be like, all right, well, let's try and give this another shot. But I, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't have any like actual hope in any of these movies, like being really, really great because because no. it's so <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, there's it's, no, it's, there's no cohesion and there's there's no, no plan. It's just they're just throwing shit out. They're there. just doing, just seeing what will stick. You know, but that was apparently the strategy after the whole Snyderverse. But it, it's become very clear, even with on Marvel. You know, after you set up this big universe and then bring it to an end which they did, now everybody seems to be scrambling. DC was kind of scrambling. DC was scrambling before that. DC didn't, never yeah. even got their they feet They never them. got their feet under them, but they it's because they running. tried so hard to like keep up with Marvel, but they didn't do any of the world they building that Marvel like, did. And I'm like, you can't just be like, boom, here, we, we have a we have a Justice League, but you haven't done any any type of origin story for all of these members. And then on top of that, you poor casting and bad writing and then you've got you know snyder with his snyder cut which is pretty much four hours of the same movie only with Zack snyder stroking his yeah, cinematic dick you and like... end, you got the end that's a that's different um but it's like it's a good it's it, half mo, half of the movie is just extended cuts of scenes that you've already seen you get two hours into so... the movie and you've pretty much seen that's the first movie the first two hours of the snyder cut is the first movie with pretty, a couple extra scenes pretty much extended extended Ex- versions of scenes and then a couple new scenes yeah like and it's not even enough to really i'm still trying to figure out like they talk, oh, Cyborg's the heart and soul of the movie. Ha, I'm still waiting to see you know, it. My boy's acting is still trash, so mm-hmm. Ray Fisher can keep that. Mm-hmm. That's that's not Cyborg. It, nobody likes pretty, whiny boy Cyborg. I don't know who, pretty, what Cyborg that is. I don't know. It's still pretty wooden. He still seems as wooden as he did before, and I don't know if that's a an artistic choice or a directional choice. I have no idea, but... I, I'm not. I'm not. But the move, the ver- the Snyderverse was flopping from before. Like, but probably it, it like was, the, the BVS was garbage. Yeah. That I mean the uh, um, the Suicide Squad thing. I know my boy David Ayer is really trying for that air cut. He's really he's Didn't really. Didn't you say out it's here. like a six hour cut or I something like I that? Don't, I don't care. I don't <laughs> know what. I, I, here's my problem. If if your movie, here's how I know your movie's not that great to begin with. If you film the movie. And they go into edit, and your movie comes out worse after editing, or only marginally, not even, I can't even say better. Your movie comes out bad after the editing, you didn't make a good movie to begin with. Because David Ayer is talking about, the, you know, they're talking about the Ayer cut, but I'm like, the movie wasn't good prior to the cut. So, this is how I know you've either filmed a movie that didn't make any damn sense, because your cut makes no damn sense. It doesn't. Well, it's cut, just not good. The, the cut was studio the studio cut that so but at the same time it's like 
it's how like, much Suicide better? Suicide Squad was it's all was all over the place anyway. Like Zack so how Snyder, much of it was the like studio the, just yeah. Like the Snyder cut makes me feel like he filmed the movie out of order, and then they brought in Joss Whedon and was like, yeah, so try and fix this. <laughs> fix this. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Anyway, mm-hmm. so um yeah, so you got the Batman movie too. That's um it, the stuff coming out of that Batman movie just sounds like it's it's all over the place too and you got the director and the actor not really liking each other and then the rumors about him getting Zoe Zeldana pregnant that's not Zoe Zoe oh, Kravitz, Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> uh, they all look the same they don't they, do. they don't they're the same person they're not the same they're person they're light skin and just the same person they're bro. not they don't even look the same they're the you same can't person, it, that doesn't work when the person they don't look the same I don't really care the same person in my mind <laughs> anyway um yeah, and then I forgot to talk about this too—the Naomi thing, the Na- Naomi Naomi thing. Um, CW is doing this show, um, which is based off of the new comic book character. I mean, at least the character is actually like new, you know. So yeah, but Duvernay her, is the one that's going to be apparently in the fold for that. So yeah, that's going to be her introduction trash. was basically her saving Batman and Superman because you know she's a woman, she's a black woman. And, uh, you know, they do it better than everybody else, so... I was just waiting for DuVernay to mess this up with her bad directing and her bad writing. And then Tom King, I like how they said on here, like, directing a vehicle with acclaimed comic book writer Tom King. No one likes Tom King. No one likes yeah. Tom King. Tom King is I just trash. think it's funny that people just overlook that man bullying an Asian man on Twitter. And uh, it, for, like, no freaking imperial that's, reason. That's the right politics. Uh, he's... Yeah, it's the right politics is all is all good, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll keep uh, we'll try we'll, we'll we'll stay up to date with this and try to keep this. Um, you know, we'll see what th- is going on with these projects, but it's a lot of movement right now, and nothing's like super concrete. I mean, the Blue Beetle movie apparently that was announced like three years ago. This was announced in like 2018, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember this. This movie has been in the works since 2018. So uh, they've had a lot of this stuff just kind of floating around. Have they so. even posted like who's going to be in the movie or is this just been being written since uh, then? I don't know. I just know it's Jaime and I don't know who is going to be Jaime. They suggested actors like Diego Tinoco on my block. I wonder. Yeah, huh. I'll look it up real quick and see. I know who Jake Austin is. Oh, this would not be a bad pick for Jaime. He would really really he really wouldn't. He's a pretty good actor. And I believe Jake Austin was the one who played the little brother on um Wizards, Wizards of Waverly yeah. Place. I believe that's who Jake Austin is. I believe so. Yeah. Oh no, he wasn't no. the little brother. He was uh I forgot. Or was he? No. I can't remember. Was. I can't remember. I don't know. This man don't look familiar. Maybe puberty just slapped him up. He was a little brother. That was him. Yeah, this is a little brother. Yeah. I used to love Jake T. Austin. I thought he was so cute. It's your boy right here. Yeah, he was a little brother. So. Nope. But I didn't know he was Hispanic. Unless they don't care whether the actor is Hispanic or not. Yeah, I don't know. Because, I, shoot, I didn't even know Wizards of Waverly Place, they were supposed to be a half Hispanic family. <laughs> I watched so little of the show, but even the little I did watch, they never really, I never really was like, oh, yes, yeah. You just didn't watch it. You didn't see the, you didn't see the parts. Anyway, but, um, all right. I oh, he was a voice actor for Jaime in, um, Titans or no, Young Justice, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, we'll keep up to date and see what's going to go on with the production of all of this. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff that they got throwing out at one time. It's kind of like they're just throwing some stuff against the wall to see what sticks. Looks like it. Some of this is probably going to get pushed back to like 2024. Yeah. I can already see like the Batgirl stuff, the Supergirl stuff, and Green Lantern. I'm surprised they're going to try and do Green Lantern again. But uh, I guess this one's going to be more about the corpse as a whole versus yeah, one probably. lantern. Which it's, I mean, this would have be been a, a quick, really. It'll be a quick way to introduce everybody. This would have so. been a pretty good way if they wanted to follow one lantern in specific. They could have followed John Stewart, to be honest. If they really, yeah. you know, they want that that black representation. Well, John's cool, so it's yeah. all right. And then, I mean, we don't want to see Hal get beaten into the dirt again. Oh, <laughs> it's always Hal. Yeah, it's always Hal messing up. <laughs> anyway, all right. We'll see you guys next time. 
Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell button for notifications. I appreciate you guys who took time out to watch and have a great day. See ya. Bye.